Alright guys, got the trapping rig cleaned up. And the first things I do when I get a trapping ring is put a new battery in it and new Temply all-terrain tires. And here's why. That truck hit the gravel two times. Got a flat already, so we'll get tires on it Monday. Alright guys, so I've uh, been running uh, work and then odd and end jobs and then ADC jobs all day. Anyways, uh, heading to a client's, got to set up. Uh, last year she, uh, I caught 38 coons for her and she just has a typical house, no uh, food out or anything like that. So anyways, we're heading there to set up. Um, I can run DPs because it's not in town, it's out in the country. And also picked up some bait. Uh, it's just some cheap trail mix uh, with mainly peanuts and uh, I think there's some stuff like that in there. Anyways, so it won't catch cats as often. Um, and I got uh, my lure all put in there that I make myself. Uh, it's kind of a banana, multi-fruit, sweet taste. So we'll get there. We run rebar steaks right now. The reason I'm running rebar steaks is because I we're in such a drought, and I had the same problem last year, that you will never get an earth anchor out. And she doesn't want cable and earth anchors sitting on the ground. So um, it's a well, very well-kept little yard. So uh, we'll run rebar so we can pull it out. And the goons can't. So, anyways, that's that's what we're doing. All right, guys. Here's our DP set. You can see here that it's important that they can't reach the landscaping. And notice I got them paint painted white. One bag of this faded all of them. There's no point in wasting food, wasting your money. You want to bait it enough that they come there, obviously. But you also don't want them to spend time working the set in case the landowner accidentally, you know, turns on a light or something and spooks them. So we got two there. And as we go over here, usually I'd have some set up here. Last year I did. This year I only brought six for this job. We gotta go set up another job here shortly. See this trail? I only set two on here last year. Last year I had four tied up the first day right there. I only brought six DPs for this job. Been running all day. I got one here, one off the corner of the shed here. I hammered them last year right here in these spots and right over on that trail. So that's how I set it up. All right, guys, we're at that nuisance job I set the other day. On the last video, got a raccoon here finally. Got a possum down there. He's playing dead. I went down there and bumped his cage. So he's playing dead. Got that raccoon. And then we round down here. You guys will bear with me. Here's raccoon number two. And then None of us are perfect. This is uh, one of those cheaper cages, but still snapped off. We missed. So, anyways, three out of four cages full. Let's get them out. Good morning, friends. It's Saturday. Uh, we're running some ADC jobs. So, um, yeah, yeah, we're uh, up and out of my missed ball trapping. But uh, in the summer, I trap uh, pretty much every day of the year. So, anyways, the stuff we did yesterday, you may see some results. I didn't film all of it, but we're going to run our ADC line this morning. All right, guys, we're at our first job, first trap. As you can see, we hooked a raccoon and a DP. Just some brush in this corner of the yard. Coons travel along it. And uh, first trap, first raccoon. Anyways, let's get this one taken care of, keep rolling. And here's raccoon number two at this job. You see here we're off the point of a shed. Re being off the points, I feel like just increases your odds. So anyways, raccoon number two, let's get this one taken care of, keep rolling. You also see the features, by the way, come together down here. That helps too.
Well guys, that's not what we wanted to get there. Of course, it's the closest dog proof of the house too. Alright, but anyways. A raccoon there. They didn't move well last night, I don't think, because uh, we'd have more tied up if that was the case. Alright guys, just uh, two catches at this job today. The raccoon and the skunk, so... Not a great first day, but they may not have moved very well last night, so let's get these taken care of. Alright guys, and uh, here we are on that job we were doing last couple days where, uh, well the last week almost, and uh, got another raccoon here. So, nothing special, but uh, I think that's four or five at this house and 16 at the other. All right, guys, we're on the beaver job. There's the hut. Look at that. All right there. Now it's facing towards us. That's a big bobcat track right there. Right there, he jumped over to the platform I'm on. So, who knows if there's more beavers here because those bobcats, man, they're good at killing them. So, we're gonna stay on this job though, figure it out pretty quick. But uh, there's a big cat around somewhere. Alright guys, this uh, next stop is the last stop of the day. Uh, cage trap and groundhogs at this job. I caught one so far. And I need to get some more cages over there. Because I'm running two smaller cages. I thought there were some smaller groundhogs here. And there's not. They're much bigger. So uh, we'll show you the setup on that. That will probably be the end of this one. One more thing, guys. I just got done cleaning out the cages. Uh, they uh, were a little dirty, and uh, with trapping groundhogs, I don't really like to have too dirty of a cage trap, if you guys know what I mean. So, uh, we got all the cages in the back of the truck clean. Alright guys, and here's the last set back behind the shed. They said they'd seen another one a while back. I'm not sure if we still have groundhog living in. There's a hole right, right there on the other side of the cage door. I had to use my boot and level that out, but I'm not sure if it's still groundhog there or if it's skunk. There's some small tracks going in. Um, but something's living there, I think. So, anyways, got her set up. We'll see how the next few days go. Last piece of advice I'm going to give you guys uh, for the day and then I'll leave you alone. Always make sure you carry good bait in the truck with you. I haven't eaten in eight hours, so I'm a big guy. Gotta keep my protein. Alright guys, appreciate you. Yeah.